Hey everyone, Tony here, and I just wanted to give you a pretty good walkthrough on how to fill out this bracket if you've never filled out a tournament bracket before. And of course, we're modeling this after uh, something in the United States where all the college teams, they all match up against each other and there's a winner in the end. So it's very, very common for people in the United States, but if you've never done this, then it makes total sense that you may not know how to fill out this bracket. And um, I don't really have a budget for this, so I had to use the poor man's bracket, which is Excel. So here we go. Basically, when you when you open this, you're gonna see everything is color coded. So everything is in everything in blue is the initial matchup that you'll see, and then everything is in green is the next level matchup. So let's start at the beginning. Here we've got Opal Jet and Pierce X4 matching up against each other. I'm not going to do absolutely any preference here, so I because I don't want to add any um, any bias to this or anything like that. So um, Let's just choose winners at random. So let's say if I was going through this, I thought that Opal Jet is the better ship. So I come in here, I edit this to Opal Jet, and that's it. The next one I have to do is between the Pierce X5 and the Opal Jet Jet. Let's do the Pierce X5. The next one is between the Unibomba and the Airbike. Let's do the Airbike. Next is between the Tufa Feist and the Erp. Let's do the Tufa. And basically what we're doing is we're saying that I think the community will vote for the Tufa Feist as their favorite ship that day. Then the following day, we're going to pull everyone on Twitter and we're going to say, okay, between the X6 and the Ombwe, which one do you like better? Let's go with Pierce X6. And then... Here we'll do the uh, Rainbow Own or the Calico Evac. We'll do Calico Evac. Here it's going to be between the Pack Light and the Compact Hero. So let's do Fimbul B Y O S Pack Light. This one will be between the Thripid and the Grenadier. Do Ubrika Thripid. Now I know this seems repetitive, but stick with me at, at least until the second round here. Um, this next one will be Pierce R8. Uh, sorry, the next one will be between Pierce R8 and Calico Guardian. So this matchup leads to this one. Uh, the Ogrika Jod Asteris and the Pierce C9 are facing off against each other. So we'll do the Pierce C9. And then for this one, the Bombarella and the C11. So let's do the Pierce C11. Now, now that we're done with the first set, let's move on to the next one. Now, this L here is going to to be between the Opal Jet and the Ogrika Meek. Now, the reason why Ogrika Meek is there is because we have an odd number of um, we have an odd number of ships, or rather, we don't quite have enough to have a whole another bracket here. We couldn't just add Ogrika Meek and Rainbow Kai down here. It doesn't really work that way. So now we've just kind of brought Ogrika Meek, kind of like it's a ringer. We know it's going to make the next round beyond one of these guys. So. Now we'll just choose the winner out of Opal Jet and Ogrika Meek. And if you're confused, just go by the color coordination. So let's do Ogrika Meek here. This one's going to be between the Pierce X5 and the Airbike because they're in the same color coordination here. So let's do the Fimbul Airbike. This one will be between the Visus Opod and the Tufa Face. Let's just at random, Visus Opod. I'm also biased to data runners. And then between the Pierce X6 and the Rainbow Kai, let's do Pierce X6. Next, um, it's going to be between the Calico Evac and the Pierce X4. Once again, if, you know, if this is the matchup that we see on Twitter, then you will have gotten a point for this one and a point for this one. Now I'm going to choose the winner for this one, and I'm just going to do the Pierce F4. Now that being said, if we go through and and you choose the wrong winner for the first one here, you do not get a point here. That means you are going to have the incorrect matchup. But if you still, let's say, this is not a good one to do. Let's, um, yeah, so let's, let's say that uh, the Pierce F4 wins this matchup, then you're back on track to get points again. It doesn't matter if you got the first one wrong, because you, you got this this second matchup correct. You just will lose a point. And that's what makes this so competitive. So for this one, we'll go ahead and do um, the pack light uh, for this matchup. And then from the R8 and the C9, 
We'll go ahead and choose one here. And then of course, from the tree arrow and the C9, we'll choose one here as well. So now we've got our next layer. So now it's between the Meek and the Air Bike. So we'll choose the Air Bike, the Opod and the X6, we'll choose the X6. Um, between the Pack Light and the F4, let's just, we think that if this matchup was on Twitter, the people would vote for the Pack Light, which is why we're putting it here. And then between the C11 and the C9, I think we all think the C11 would probably go. Now we have to say, okay, between the air bike and the X6, which one will be in the finals? Let's go ahead and do air bike. And between the pack light and the C11, which one will go in the finals? We'll do C11. And out of these two, which one will win? And this is our winning pick. All you have to do now is put your Twitter or your YouTube name in uh, this box and your Solana address in this box so I can pay you out if you win. And that's really it. So every single guess that you have in the the bold ones, every one that's correct will give you one point. The person with the most points at the very end will win the Tufa Feist. Um, and we've got some other gifts as well for those who, who um, guess the winner right and all of those who participate. So I hope this has helped. Um, if you get one wrong, so let's say that uh, Pierce R8 and the Calico Guardian face off against each other. You predicted the R8 to win, but the Calico is the one that wins. That's okay. Not all is lost because if the C9 wins and then the C9 wins again, you're back on track. So um, all you have to do is fill this out uh, just exactly as I've done it here. Nothing more, nothing less. Please do your best to just use the exact same um, terminology that I use. Don't, don't, um, uh, don't abbreviate anything, just do it exactly how it is. And then what you'll do is you'll just click share and then you'll share it to me, just like I show you in the video and I will get that email. Um, I hope this has clarified some things. If you still have questions, please put them in this YouTube video in the comments and, uh, or rather not in this one, but if you have, if you have questions, do it in that, that main YouTube video and that's it. I hope you guys have fun and I'll see you at the polls.